Hey guys, welcome to Choice Tech. In this video of Choice Tech, you will be learning to write a Java program to print numbers from 1 to 10. I'll be telling you three ways to print numbers from 1 to 10. Hence, you should watch this video till the end because I don't want you to miss on any one of the ways, especially if you are a beginner programmer. Without further ado, let's get into coding the program straight away. This is my IntelliJ ID. This is my project in which I'm going to first create a class. Let me call it print numbers. There you go. Class created. Let me begin with creating the main function. I type PSVM and the IntelliJ is going to do the rest of the work for me. Now let's focus on method number one. In method number one, we are going to declare an integer variable i and initialize it to one. Now we are going to simply print the value of the variable i. To do that, we'll write system dot out dot println i. Okay. This is going to print one on the console. Now in order to print it two, we will have to increment i. So how do we increment i? We write i and then we write two plus signs okay this is going to increment the value of i and if now we write system dot out dot print ln then it's going to print two okay let's run the program and check if it does the job that we are expecting there you go the program has printed one and two like we expected now since we have printed one and two already all we are going to do is to copy these two lines of code and uh, paste them eight more times there you go so till this line of code the value of i is two then two is going to increment to three three will be printed using this line of code then i will be incremented to four four will be printed using this line of code then 5 will be printed using this line of code 6 will be printed using this line of code 7 will be printed using this line of code 8 will be printed using this line of code 9 will be printed using this line of code and i should paste it one more time so i will be incremented to 10 and 10 will be printed using this line of code let's run the program and check the output And there you go. All the numbers from 1 to 10 have been printed using this method number 1. But this is the most naive approach. Even a beginner level programmer doesn't take this approach. This is straight away hard coding and nobody should follow this approach. Nobody should write such a code in a program. Because in the future, if you have to print all the numbers from 1 to 100 or 1 to 1000, are you going to write these statements a thousand times? No. To counter such a situation, we use loops. And that is our method number two, in which we are going to print all the numbers from 1 to 10 using while loop. So for that, first, we are going to eliminate all these statements. We will write while and it requires a condition. So we already have a declared variable over here, i, and that is initialized to one. So the loop is going to run till i becomes 10, okay? So this loop is going to run till i is less than or is equal to 10. Now within the body of the for loop, we simply have to print the value of i. So we are going to write system dot out dot println i okay now one thing that we need to remember over here is we need to increment the value of i as well otherwise this entire loop will become an infinite loop it will run forever and that's the last thing we want so the next statement has to be i plus plus you just saw that you just saw that okay it's because of this condition you don't have to write these two statements 10 times Okay, now let's run the program and check the output. And there you go. 
numbers from 1 to 10 have been printed using the while loop. Method number 3 involves printing all the numbers from 1 to 10 using for loop. While using the for loop, we don't need this line of code. We need not declare and initialize the variable i outside the for loop. We can do that within the for loop only. So let me remove this and uh, let me remove this while loop as well. So we will write for and we are going to initialize a variable i. So it will be int i equals to 1, the exact same thing that we did moments ago, but we are doing it within for loop now. And this loop is going to run till i becomes 10. So it will be i less than equals to operator 10. Okay. And this loop is going to increment in steps of 1. So it will be i plus plus. So the same thing we wrote when we implemented the while loop. For is kind of bringing all those components together within its brackets. Okay. Now within the for loop, we will write system dot out dot println and we'll pass i within the brackets and that's it. We don't have to write the line of code where we increment the value of i because it's already present over here. Okay. Now let's run the program. It should do the job. And there you go. The numbers 1 to 10 have been printed using the for loop. And this was method number three. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning this program from Joey's Tech. I hope you coded this program along with me. I look forward to helping you with programming and algorithms. And only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.